Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is sort of an annoying intro because I did loads of filming recently on different days and I started like editing it and I was like yeah I'm really productive really getting ahead and massive chunks of the footage that I filmed was just missing off my SD card. I don't know it was on a really really hot day both of the videos that were affected and I wonder whether the heat sort of made my SD card just melt um, and just like basically half of the tutorial on one was missing and then the beginning of this one that I'm going to talk about was missing which oh, is so annoying anyway so the footage you're about to see is of me fixing my favourite Levi's shorts so I'm carrying on with these videos of fixing like amending um garments and other things that i've got in a to-do pile in my sewing room and i'm just using the videos as a basically an accountable force to force me to do them so the video that you're about to see is me fixing the buttonhole fly on my favorite pair of levi shorts these were actually a hand-me-down or technically a hand-me-up because she's younger than me from one of my friends um, they're um, like a vintage pair of like cut Levi's um, buttonhole fly they are just the comfiest shorts I only really ever wear Levi's now because I discovered them a few years ago and the fit and quality of them is amazing and they just keep going and going and going and all mine are second hand um, so the fact that they've had like many lives before as well it's, it just makes you feel good I think I have one pair of jeans that isn't a pair of Levi's that I wear Anyway, that's another story. This is another pair of Levi shorts and the buttonhole fly had split, which you will see in the next uh, video. Um, but yes, it's a video of me fixing this. So I'm sorry this is a bit of a weird intro, but the rest of the footage will make sense. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is zigzag stitch this bit together so I'm going to turn it this way and zigzag side to side like this first so I'm just going to go do 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 just to join that together to reinforce it and then I'm going to zigzag up and down so we'll do the first step first just to join that and I'm also going to do the same thing here just where this is weakening a little bit and while I'm there I'm also going to do it here just to go over that fixed one already okay so I hope you're going to be able to see this clearly enough. I've just done a little um, zigzag going that way. Just It basically just creates like a reinforced end to it. So when I go over the top with the next stage, it will make that bit a lot easier. There's the one that's already mended. But yeah, that's what I've done. So I've just gone side to side. I used a six millimeter width um, zigzag and I just went down to 0 0.9 millimeters for my stitch length. So they were really close together um, just to create that sort of like strength. So now I'm gonna go up and down this time with my zigzags um, just to go over the top and reinforce it again. Um, but obviously this time with a smaller zigzag, I'm gonna make the stitch length a little bit longer um, so they're not so close together. And then hopefully I can just do a few reverse back and forth and then should be strong enough okay so there we have the mended buttonhole loops my advice to you is i don't know if you can see it clearly but i do i don't just go up and down i sort of like angle it slightly so that it all sort of interweaves and it i don't know it looks messier but it strengthens the thread to itself and the denim underneath so it just makes it a little bit stronger and then that should definitely hold because obviously especially on a buttonhole fly you're sort of putting all your force and all your attention in that one place on the buttonhole so that's why it breaks um so yeah job done that literally took me like 10 minutes um from start to finish maybe not even that so yeah just a great i like doing these little videos because it makes me get on and do jobs that i've just been like piling up um, and also to some of you, obviously it's boring to a lot of you, but to some of you it might be like, I don't know, oh, I could mend that now and it might spur you to mend something that you've got. So we just want to keep mending things. We don't want to waste all this stuff. And if they're just sat, the reason why I got annoyed is if they're just sat there, you know, 
but I don't get to wear my favourite pair of shorts unless I mend them. So, there we go. Mended, extra strong. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or you found it useful. Comment below if you have any questions and I will see you again soon for another video. Happy handmade, everyone.